I've always been afraid of my voice because it's so powerful that it scares me. Kiala Settles here! Yeah. Hello, everyone. Good morning, Good Kiala. Good morning, lovey. So you were unveiled at the weekend oh, as Air Fryer I on was. The Mars Singer. How was your experience oh, on that show? It was everything and anything that I never thought it would be but everything that I needed in my life. If, you know, some people, and I did it originally, to just go in and do it for a laugh. Because yeah. I had no idea what to expect. I mean, that, it's mad. Let's be honest. Did, did Kelly, you, you know. It's I know. absolutely I know. bonkers. Did you to choose stage. to be an air fryer? Absolutely. It was the first. We were all on a Zoom call, and they had all of these sketches yeah. to show me. And the first one that they presented to me was an air fryer. It was all blingy and sparkly. And I said, yes, please. That's oh, it. So you chose to oh, be the air yeah, fryer. I chose that box. That was my fault. <laughs> because I knew yeah. if my entire body was covered, yeah. no one would have any clue really who it was. And they didn't. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> because they you, didn't. there's no arms, you, there's no legs, there's yeah. a you know, because there's a way that you move as as we as we do, as people, yeah. our you know, our personalities. Yeah. And if it's all cut off. Yeah. You have no idea, and that's what I wanted. And people say when you're singing in that costume, it's really different <sighs> because you can't hear yourself back. I mean, it's well, we had in ears, and I'm very grateful and honestly, really, really grateful that I have the opportunity to perform a lot with in ears so I know what they sound like. But it's beyond that. It's. It's sort of the fear of doing it because you're in this costume and as a performer with what I do for a living, I keep thinking they're gonna, they can see my face. <laughs> <Yeah>. Not even. <laughs> and did you have to disguise your voice quite a lot? Was that hard? No, oh, I couldn't. I couldn't, couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I can only... Sing how you sing. Yeah. I didn't watch it because I was there. <laughs> so yeah, I yeah. Didn't, a lot of it was like, I know how I sound within my own body, yeah. which isn't really nice to me, which is probably a blessing. <laughs> so I didn't really want to revisit it with everyone else hearing it. And oh, so you don't like your own voice? No. Crazy. It, it's just like that. No. It's insane. You've how? got the best voice in the whole <laughs> You're world. So no. <laughs> That's no. insane. No, no, right. I've watched this last night. numerous times. This is when you pretty much make Hugh Jackman cry with your performance. Uh, yeah. Well, you, we, you know, when you sort of did that. that it's got run. over 90 million views. It's, it's massive. And 89 million of those are mine. You <laughs> made. <laughs> Well, there's honesty there. So let, let's get this right. You made Hugh Jackman cry, yet you still think you don't have a particularly great voice. Oh, what uh, a loaded question. I know. And a very good one. And I have to find a proper way to answer it. <laughs> it's, it's the sound that I create. That's what I hear. Yeah. It's like if you open a tin and empty it, whatever the contents are that are in it, and you put a load of pebbles and rocks in it, and you shake it, that's what my voice sounds like to me when it comes out of my body. Wow. I've always been afraid of my voice because when it gets going, it's so, to be, I'm just saying this, not for me, I'm just saying, because I've heard people say this and I know this too. It's so powerful that it scares me. Wow. So wow. for my entire life, up until this program, I have separated myself from my voice yeah. so much, wow. so much, because I don't even want to, like I said, don't want to hear it. Don't want to be anywhere near it. The Hugh Jackman tour. Oh yeah, you were petrified. You, <laughs> you weren't oh. petrified. That's me. You don't know that. But I was petrified when you came on. I mean, to that absolute huge applause of the O2 Arena. It was one of the most phenomenal things I've ever seen. And it's wow. the scariest thing to be the one person there in the middle of that thrust. I remember that. That was a, an incredible experience. That entire tour. The opportunity that I had was amazing and I love him for it every day. Well, I also love him because I just love him. He's my older brother. But to be on that thrust and I'm the only person and there are tens of thousands of people, it's extremely overwhelming yeah. because you you literally can't hide. And for someone at that point who could not accept the voice that she was given, yeah. <laughs> I had to hide that nightmare every night. <laughs> oh, and the wow. only way I did it was to sing. So to have a program like this, it's a godsend. It's an absolute godsend. And I never thought it would change my life the way that it has. Oh, wow. And I'm so excited that I can finally talk about it. And who do you think's going to win? Who Piranha. You oh, really? Piranha. Do you know who Piranha is? No. And hey. I'm... Do you? No. No, do you? Just turn it off and tell me. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> we'll be right know. back, ladies and gentlemen. Please enjoy know. your driving. What? Wicked. Yes. OMG. <laughs> <laughs> this film is going to be huge. Can you tell us what part you play? Okay, fine. I'll tell you that. And that's okay. all I can tell you. Um, I play a character called Miss Coddle. 
who is one of the headmasters of uh, Shiz University. The same, I believe, production designer for Showman is also on this production wow. as well. So okay. everything that you saw in the trailer and the way, I mean, even the way that John directed how to film it and Alice working the camera, it just is so beautiful. <laughs> I feel like it's The Greatest so Showman has kind of like paved the way for all these new genres of musicals oh, now. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I mean, maybe, so. I don't they know. They were kind of out of fashion for a minute, weren't well, they? It's been so lovely chatting to you. It really oh, has. you guys. It? it really yes, has. Thank you. you guys are amazing. Oh, you're Happy amazing. Monday. We've been playing your song for years and years and we'll continue to. Oh, lovely. It's our fave here at heart. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Thanks, you guys. Thank you. Kiala Settle. Yes. Thank you.